All the way from Scott. Oh, holy oh cow. My. We got weights in fifth. What's going on, everybody? Today, we are going to be going to the Huron Pier to walleye fish. Now, normally when people think of walleye fishing, they think of being on a boat, they think of trolling, they think of jigging, and they also think of daytime. But this time of the year at nighttime, walleye chase bait fish up close, and you can actually catch walleye from shore. And that's what we'll be doing today on the Huron Pier. So let's head there now, and hopefully, GoPros don't pick up video very well on low light, so hopefully we don't have a problem with that. There's, there's one. Yep. Eddie, you're a genius. Heck yeah. Can we hold the weight? No, it's on my chest. Yeah, don't gotta worry about it. It's a pretty nice one too. I need to back up a little yeah. bit. Let me know what I need to do, I can't see. Oh, Did you get him? Heck yeah. Good one, man. That was like Eddie, right, that was like right up to the thing too. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're throwing a deep diver. I just threw that on. That was my second cast with it actually. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the car because I have them back there. Yeah, I have more right there. I got You know what, I guess that, that actually dives about the same as the others. Uh, yeah. I've been throwing right. bandits this whole time and just decided to throw on a DT-10 and it worked. Yeah. It's a nice fish too. Hit right, right at the at the pier. That was a nice fish. Yeah, that was a real nice fish. I mean, I knew we were only gonna be catching like bigger walleye, but go. this is already go. super good right here. I, I honestly expected to catch them like right when you cast. That was like right at my feet almost. I was basically, I'm, I'm reeling just fast enough to where the lure's working. Like if it's not thumping, then you're not reeling fast enough. If you're going like thump, 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 then you're going too fast. You know, it took me like three, four months into 2023 to finally catch my first fish. It took me three days into 2024. Hey, they've turned on. Off. Come on. I tried to move him, try to pull him back that way. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want to say? Hey, this is a family friend friendly show. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, other than having to drive here, this is probably one of the most inexpensive ways to catch walleye. I mean, if this was right down the road from us, like the Maumee River, this would be the cheapest way to catch walleye I could I could think of. Because even the Maumee River isn't cheap you got to buy waders you got to go through all that tackle every time you snag this is just rod reel bandit cast oh here we go fish on go 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 oh, oh, oh where's the fish oh yeah Going real a little bit more. He's gonna get him there. He's gonna get him. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Just keep it the steady reel right now. Yeah, nice. That's a dandy. All the way from Scott. Oh, holy cow. Oh my goodness. Hey, give me some, man. Congrats. Nice. That's because you have to hold that thing up. You should have left swim. So what is that then? That's a walleye. That's a walleye. We come on back down. She's like, I need to She's like, I need to catch one of these suckers. Huh? Oh no! So it's just the screen saver. Well, yeah. Hopefully it's just my screen saver. I got nails if you need me. Don't need it. You know what? It's not gonna change it now. Yeah. Hey, what? What are you gonna do now? Just fish, huh? Right. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm living my, I know. I, I had it up in my chest, and yeah. I, like when I laid down there, I was like, oh shit. Yo, 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 Ben's Outdoor Adventures. 
here, buddy. Oh, dude, that's a tank right there. Oh, so you just mm. hold onto the gill right there. And then don't stick it too far because you start getting to his uh, gills and they're kind of sharp. Do you want little mines in there? Holy crap, man. That's a tank. <laughs> is that your first walleye ever? Or? Uh, is this my first walleye? Uh, no. No, it's your second I got a one. smaller one this summer. I mean, for a second walleye ever, that's absolutely incredible. That's at least 24, 25 inches. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? I'm from back. Uh, nope. No, that's gonna be good on the dinner table later. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I want a commission for your YouTube videos as well, man. <laughs> hey, when I start getting commission, then you'll get commission. <laughs> <laughs> Last two fish have been hooked on bandits. I'm starting to think here pretty soon. I might have to go back to the bandit. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. We gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, in the water, keep in the water. Nice. nice. That's another nice one. Oh, dang, man. Are we catching dandies today? Yeah, big dog. Live from here, I'm here. Hold it, wait. Show that. Another one. Big boy. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Where are we putting them? Uh, right over here. Here's the fish hole. <laughs> Hooked, your, <laughs> Hooked your glove again. I just touched it and was like, does it matter where you don't you just cut it in half right here? Yeah. That's perfect. Go keep going all the way. Perfect. Didn't you say it's what, 32 right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, this is good. Just as good as keeping them in a cooler of ice right here. Yeah, right. I mean, last millisecond. Soon we're going to have to start extending to. The different cement blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, as well, it's, it's not about the size of the fish that matters, and it's not ours. <laughs> <laughs> we got a fish out. I'm gone. Uh, who's on? Scotty. Nice, nice, nice. Come back this way a little bit. Walk on this way. I got him. Oh, he got off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta <walk> <laughs> I was laying down and the fish kept going, want to go that way, and I was just out of reach of him. I should have handed you the net because I knew I couldn't lay down with this thing on. If you, you would have walked this way, you would have walked right into the net. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Three for five. <laughs> oh. We need to start walking the fish towards this ladder and have someone climb down. Yeah. No, all, all you had to do, like seriously, if you would, if he would have came over to the right six inches, he would have been in the net. He was just out of my reach. Last guess. Everybody, let's get through a little bit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Lucky day. Back here in the fish cleaning house with our walleye that we caught from the pier. We're just gonna fillet it up real fast. First, taking out those Lake Erie scallops. Just like that, and knock the side off this thing. Probably yield more meat from an electric blade knife anymore these days. I rarely ever use a fixed blade anymore. Just like that. There we go. And then just take the pin bones out, go in here on either side of the bloodline. ripping it apart. There's one boneless, skinless filet. And there's number two. Just like that. Oh, 
Got some eggs on her. Think about it. She's a massive boy. You ever take the wings out of the walleye before? No. Is that still recording? No. Have you? No. You haven't? You just get right in there. It's a lot easier with the electric fly knife. Just like that. It's actually some pretty good walleye wings right there. I normally don't keep that fit. Well, I'm not really in the mood for fried fish, but I kept these walleye wings. And the only way to make walleye wings is you gotta deep fry them. So, I'm just gonna make two recipes instead. Here, I got some chunked up pieces of walleye for poor man's lobster. And then I cut some bigger pieces as well, like this one to deep fry with the walleye wings. So for this, I'm gonna get some water boiling and I got some oil heating up in the back. So for deep frying the fish, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dredge it all in a little bit of red hot. And then I'm just gonna start giving that a good mix. And now once I got all that walleye covered, I'm just gonna toss it in some of this and Andy's flaming Hot Chicken Breading. I've never had this before. Man, that stuff's already getting to me. And then for this poor man's lobster recipe, I'm gonna add one cup of sugar into this water here. And along with that, some freshly squeezed lemon juice. I don't have lemons right now, so this is all I'm using. And then just super easy, all we're gonna do is just start dropping in our chunks of walleye. Gonna give those about five to seven minutes, and once they're floating, they're done, and those are ready to eat. While that poor man's lobster is cooking over there, I'm gonna start on some of this deep fried fish. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my red hot coated fish and I'm gonna batter it up in some of that flaming hot chicken seasoning. I'm just gonna toss it in the oil. As you can see, our pieces of walleye are now floating. Those are ready to be strained out and thrown on a paper towel. And once this walleye hits the paper towel, I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some cracked pepper and lemon seasoning. And also, right before that was done, I threw some butter in the microwave to melt down a little bit. And also, now that my butter is melted down, I'm gonna sprinkle some more seasoning into that. Now this stuff was what I was in the mood for right here. And this is best enjoyed hot. So right when it comes out of the water, I normally start eating it right away. I'm gonna take one of my cheeks of walleye, swirl it around in that butter. Mm. That is probably my favorite way to make fresh caught walleye. Is that right there, that stuff is so good. Mm. Time to mess with this fried walleye. tidbit about walleye wings is if you are going to make them, make them crispy and make them extra crispy because a soggy walleye ring, say that three times fast, a soggy walleye wing will ruin it for you every single time. Well, let's give this walleye wing a try. It does look pretty good. All right, let's go for the crisp test. I can tell it's still very hot. Definitely crispy enough. Seasoning is really good too. Trying to get a plate under me for the trying out the meat. Now I'm not the biggest fan of walleye wings. I mean it's an extra little nugget of meat you can get, but I just don't think it has the same taste or same flavor as like the filet or the cheeks do. But this one is actually really good. Only thing about the walleye wings is you don't want to eat the scales underneath the fish. And the bones that are in the 
in that part of the meat really aren't nothing to worry about. They're too big for you to really have to worry about getting in your mouth and accidentally swallowing. Swallowing, you can see it all, it's all basically cartilage. You're not going to have to worry about choking on that at all. So I mean, hey, if you've never had walleye wings before, give it a try. Maybe you'll like them. I don't really catch enough walleye year round where I don't have to go scrapping at the bits for the wings and stuff like that, but it's also good not to let the stuff go to waste. That is very good. That seasoning is pretty awesome. If you like spicy stuff, Andy's Flamin' Hot Chicken has good flavor and a good spice to it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. 2024, I plan to post a whole lot more. Hopefully, people start liking some of these short videos. I like making the long ones, but they take forever to make, and these short ones are nice and quick and easy. So hopefully people start liking them, and I can just keep making more of them. Other than that, Catch you on the next one.